right outside the shelter, we have our uh, biolite. We have a boil for some mountain house and some coffee. That was extremely fast. Okay, you didn't come here to watch me boil water and cook a mountain house meal with the biolite. You wanted to see <laughs> a variation on a new hot tent shelter, which involves the biolite. Let's take you outside. And here to meet us already, it's Cooper. There it is. If you look around here, this is the Lux Pyramid two-person tent, taking you around the site here. We're at the end of a uh, trail. There's the DIY stove jack, and that is Velcroed to the peak there. That's so that I can remove that use the tent for just strictly hiking without it being a hot tent. That stove jack adds extra weight so I can uh, take that off and replace it with just some ripstop that I can velcro there and I've already made that piece too. There's the peaks. some snow there, what's left of it. And over there hanging in the tree is a outdoor temperature monitor. While we were out there, and I was showing you, Right now, inside we're at uh, 63 degrees, it's 46 outside. So here at the peak, with the biolite, it's uh, taking us up to 63 degrees. I can't stress enough, just showing you that uh, we have a carbon monoxide monitor showing us what conditions are inside. There's the Black Diamond trekking pole. We're peaked there. We have both vents open. There's the DIY stove jack that's velcroed in. And the fan is set at one. I could uh, bring it up a little more. Let's do that. Just to see what kind of heat that creates and we'll monitor that. Let's take a temperature reading. 281 at the base of the stove pipe. Let's go up here. Take a temperature. That's at the peak. We're at 105 midway 113 once again down below let's do this two eighty one and I have a fan setting that too. So this is the first time, first real outdoor burn of the BioLite inside the Lux Pyramid two-person tent and I'm going to say it's a success. What do you think Cooper? Do you like this? Huh? 
<laughs> a little bit wet, aren't we, huh? We could stay, but again, this was just a first test. A couple of you asked about uh, refueling. Since this is a six foot stove pipe, I can just go outside, and I did this earlier. I can just take a handful of wood pellets and just drop them down the top into the biolite. So very easy to uh, continue to stoke. Cooper, let's just give them one quick look-see before we pack everything up. We'll do a 360 here. So there's all the gear. It all came, everything that you see here, packed into a 55 liter Gregory Z55 backpack. This whole half of the tent is open. This half back here has our gear and where I sit. And there's plenty of room here next to the peak and trekking pole. So before we leave this, it's 46 outside and inside. It's 63 and cozy. Let's go home, Cooper. Not enough hands, but what I did was I actually did unhook the smokestack there. It's a little dark, sorry. And I carried, lifted out by a light, and now it's sitting right there. And that's what's left of two cups and the refuel. And Cooper's patiently waiting for us to pack camp and head on home.